Red Dirt Designs, invest in yourself. Welcome back to the channel, Red Dirt Designs. On today's episode, we're going to custom paint lace on a mailbox. I'm going to go real fast through this process of how I paint a mailbox. I'm going to have a link at the end on the end screen that shows you everything you need to know about painting a mailbox from start to finish the correct way. So stick around. Right before we paint, we want to make sure to clean it all off. Then we'll use a tack cloth over this and we'll hit it with some paint. I have the image cut out with my Cricut. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the image on this side since I don't have the flag and put it right in the middle. I'm just going to eyeball this one. I'm pretty sure I can get her pretty good. Then we peel this straight, straight back. Now we paint uh, navy blue over the top of this, and then when we peel this off after we're done, it'll reveal the yellow. All right, now I'm gonna do the, the girl side. The flag is at the front, so I wanna make sure I get this towards the back. It'll look better anyway. When you don't have lace and you live in the middle of nowhere, sometimes you just gotta use what you got. This is my evening shirt. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. All right, my wife agreed to let me use her uh, old shirt that she never wears. So I'm gonna use the lace on here to give it a cool lace effect over the on the girl's side of the mailbox. So we're just gonna cut this thing up. Just half the mailbox is going to be the female side, the other half is going to be the male, so I just want to make sure I get this lace on the one side. So we're going to tape a line right down from the handle, right down the middle, so I know it's centered. Going to set her straight down, straight as I can. That will separate the two sides. And then here's our lace material. We're gonna have to tape it and stretch it. So we're gonna tape that on. This is automotive tape. Thank you. 
tote number three. All right, it's time to unmask this thing. <laughs> that looks awesome. Very happy with the way that turned out. Like I said, a lot of this is gonna be faded into dark anyways. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of airbrushing around that the original Suzy Homemaker logo that I made on Photoshop. I wanna make sure that when we peel that back, it'll really pop. So I'm just gonna do a light dusting over all of it. 